Hi everyone, Cinexsoft here. I have connected Mini X Neo Z83 4 to my HDMI TV and connected a mouse, keyboard, a USB drive to the USB 3 port and the power supply, as well as Gigabit Ethernet. And I will show some demos. Try LibreOffice, Firefox, Thunderbird. Use it at the desktop to show the performance. Alright, so I've just restarted the computer to make sure there is no cache, no hard drive cache. And you can see the specs here with 4GB RAM and the Intel Atom X5 processor. And I also started hardware info to check the CPU clock as well as the temperature. Right now it's 36 to 44 uh, degrees Celsius. Okay, so I'm going to test multitask first by starting Thunderbird, Firefox, LibreOffice and GIMP. Uh, please ignore the vertical line in the middle. It's a problem with my TV. Nothing to do with the mini PC itself. So basically everything is loaded except GIMP. All right, everything is done. So let's load some web pages. <coughs> So it's running quite well. Now let's load a bigger one. And at the same time I will load a doc file. Then a spreadsheet. Okay, it's there, and uh, let's check some emails. RSS feed in Thunderbird and open another page. This one is a bigger page, longer page. And it's rendering OK. So, so let's try YouTube now. The video output is 1080p. 60 Hz. Let me double check. Yes, 1080p 60 Hz. So let's try the 4K video, but at 1080p first.
very good, no problem. Now full screen. Again, no dropped frames, and it's spinning very smoothly. Now let's try to switch to 4K. Okay, we can see here is a 4K resolution, 4K UHD. drop frames but uh, okay networking is suffering because of my ISP my in, my uh, internet access you can see the buffer is nearly empty all the time uh, but this part is not too bad if you have the right internet access and now I will play a flash game. Uh, Can he crush Shaga? Let's close a few tabs. Okay, I will. Open a file while it's, while it's loading. And do some conversion with GIMP. Let's try to play. The system appears to be struggling a little. Uh, it's pretty busy. Maybe because of Firefox. Thunderbird keeps it pretty busy and Adobe Flash. That thing is not dead yet, that's why I have to test it. Okay, so it's running like this inside Firefox. So the next step I will play a game. Asphalt 8. is running at full speed so I will close some the word file it's 
LibreOffice actually, the spreadsheet, the slideshow, let's have a look at the slideshow. Okay, we can play the game now. Go full screen. God. Whoa, whoa what was that? Okay, let's try the first race. Start the game. I also run a OCTT a stress test application for three hours, and the system had no problem in handling the the load. That is that's playable. Um, but it's pretty much the same experience as on all Atom X5 processor. Is not perfect. Is not perfectly smooth. Okay enough for this demo oh ok there was no problem here and normally at this stage I will go here to change the resolution and play a few files in Kodi but this time I won't do this uh, since the result is always the same and you can see you can change to 4k UHD up to 30 Hz or for higher resolution up to 24 Hz this is standard but uh, I will not do this this time and instead I will reboot and show you something interesting in the BIOS I have to press ESC, escape to enter the menu and you can go to advanced and mini X feature configuration and here you can select the type of earphone you want to use many people ask me uh, this option in many PCs so some people they want to automatically restart their computer when there is a power failure and if you select always on as soon as you connect the power the PC will start if there is a power supply the if there is a power failure, the PC will restart. It also supports Wake on LAN and RTC Wake Up. So you can set when you want to start the PC automatically. Okay, if you want to do it every day, I oh, know you will have to change it. Okay, 
every year you will have to change it but you can change every month every day but not every year no and then set up the hour and minutes and seconds when you want to start it up all right that's, that's all for today thank you for watching bye bye